fish on. Fish on, come on. Now then, and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Fishing UK. Thanks for joining me today. We have something special planned, another abandoned quarry. I heard about this one. Difference is there's pike in it. So that is so, so exciting for me to catch pike in an old abandoned quarry. Wouldn't that just be a dream come true? It's a little walk to get there, just walking through these woods now. As you can see, full of life, really picturesque. Cannot wait to see what this place looks like. Well, what a special place it looks like we found here. There's some lily pads and stuff up here, which is always good pike territory, isn't it? Oh, I am excited about today. Plenty of bait fish down in these margins too, which is always a good sign. I'm seeing plenty of fish sort of feeding on top, pike chasing roach up to the surface. So. I think I'm gonna start with the top water. It is very bright. I wouldn't normally recommend top water fishing in the bright sunshine, but it is possible. That's how we'll start things off today. And we will mix things up as we go along. So the lure I'm gonna kick things off today, this is the Headbanger Shad. I've been so excited about using this ever since I saw a video on YouTube of this little nose. It goes crazy on the surface and gives this a really, really unique action. Perch pattern, quite a big thing too. So hopefully it's gonna pick out some of these big abandoned quarry pike. Let's go. Right, here we go. First cast of the Spitfire. Can't wait to see this action. Cannot wait, come on. It's never easy fishing a new venue, especially when it's something like this. If I catch something today, how about you subscribe? Sounds like a fair deal to me, because it is not going to be easy. The action on this headbanger Spitfire is just incredible. It creates so much wake and it just flutters around in a really unpredictable way. Don't know about you guys, but I love fishing these places. I mean, look at this walkway around the edge. So unique, so full of life. This place just keeps getting more and more beautiful. I mean, look at that. Surrounded by trees, lily pads, everything you could want really, apart from the fish. So I'm going to finish my top water fishing off just in these shallow bays around here, grab a bit of lunch. And then if we don't catch anything, a big tactic change is needed. Moments like these when you really need an iced coffee just to perk yourself up. So next up, I'm going for the Headbanger Shad. This is a nice paddle tail. I love a paddle tail there. And it's got the same head shape as the other one. That gives it the same sort of erratic, unscripted movement that hopefully is going to catch me a pike today. This place just continues to surprise me. Look at that bit of landscape over there. This whole shady area as well, just next to this tree, is full of bait fish. It's like little bream and stuff like that, roach. Anyone know anything about this line? It looks just about as old as time and look how I've caught it. Chances of that. Well, it's fair to say today has absolutely kicked my ass. I've been here four or five hours, maybe something like that, and not even a nibble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap over to a perch setup Try rescue the day just by catching a couple of fish. See what we can get on the bank. Let's do it. These LMAB finesse fillet worms are my go-to for the small perch at the moment. So that's what I'm going to use to try get myself a bit of morale. Right, here we go. First cast of the perch set up. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, first fish of the day. Tiny little perch. <laughs> oh, it feels good to just be catching one though. It has been hours and hours. There you go. A beautiful little quarry perch. Come on. Well, I needed that. I really, really, really needed that. I've always thought that little tree line looked good there. 
maybe though it's more suited to a tiny perch lure like this than it is a, a big pike thing. Fish on. Just hold him over the water. Don't really mind if it unhooks itself, it's just a, a little one. Fish number two. Look at the colours on him. Another tiny little guy, but very welcome. Well, I'm just fishing this quarry now, wondering have I been wasting my time chasing pike all day when I could have been catching perch? I get the feeling now that maybe this is an absolute perch gold mine. There's got to be big ones in here. Just having a switch up to some finesse fillet crows by LMAB. This water is dirty, so hopefully this brighter colour might attract a few more fish. This is 100% perch territory in here, that's for sure. Come on. Oh. Fish on. Fish on, come on. Yes. Well, isn't that just one of the prettiest little perch you've ever seen? Absolute beauty of a thing. Well, as always, thank you very much for watching. I know it's been a short video today. I just really wanted to show you this venue, to be honest, because it is absolutely incredible. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a video of a decent pike I caught at a place which never actually made it onto a video, just because I feel like you deserve a bit more action for sticking through to the end of this video. Also, I'd like to just say soon I'm running a 20,000 subscriber giveaway when I hit that. I did say that about 10,000 subscribers, but life got in the way and I couldn't end up doing it. So this one is going to be even bigger than that one was going to be. So stay tuned for that soon. Enjoy this footage and I'll catch you down the road. This is a class lure. I've used this once before. I think I've had a couple of nice fish on it. Two very nice pike from a carp lake I was fishing. They hit this pretty well, to be fair. And I just found that the nice rattle in the tail really brings the fish in. And while it is a, while it is an unnatural pattern, I suppose, for a water like this, or a lot of waters, white, silver, it's very roachy. And I suppose this orange almost looks like blood, so to speak. But yeah, it's a great bit of kit. Fairly confident today that we're going to get something on it. Oh, fish on. Not a bad fish either. Need to get it out of there though. It's not hooked the best. Nice fish though. Look at the size of this fish belly to head ratio. That is absolutely insane. Let's get this fish quickly rested and then we'll hold it up for a picture. Look at this for a fish. This is maybe eight or nine pound, maybe a bit less, but it's definitely the shortest, fattest fish I've ever caught. What an absolutely beautiful pike on the koi carp too. Let's get this one back. <laughs> 